Hello everybody, it's Sugary Pop here, and today we're talking about something a little more serious and something that's more personal to me. This is actually a story time, and well, I don't really do these videos like that, and hopefully I won't have to post another video like this one ever, but... I just finished sort of writing a script, or at least some key pointers of what I wanted to talk about here on this video, and I don't know why after I finished writing the points and a little bit of a script, I felt really irritated, like upset and irritated at the same time, but I guess we should just get into these points um reasons why i left i mean i was almost about to be 18 and at the time i was 17 and i was planning on leaving like a month ahead when i turned 18 um i really didn't get to do a lot i just basically stayed in the house and worked at my mom's job which i also hated and i wanted to quit multiple times and they overworked me it was a whole thing but i got paid very well so i guess i can't complain that much um i really wanted independence and do things on my own term like Everybody in the world wants that. They want to be able to leave the house without hearing anything from anybody else on why you left the house or why you are hanging out with friends or why did you just like, why are you not in the house? Period, point blank. And I'm pretty sure everybody likes that free will. Um, another reason was I like to have my own space. Where I live, I technically don't have my own space. And... I don't get to completely decorate everything. I mean, I really like pink. I really like scented things. I really like super strong, like bakery, cake, sugar smells. And I don't think my mom really likes the same thing. I mean, she uses more mint cologne, which I like sometimes too, but like, we don't have the same taste on everything. Um. My goal when staying there, like staying there with like my friends and stuff once they came and got me, which I I have to say, I was 17, but it was going to be like three or four days until I turned 18. So legally, I wasn't able to leave, but like I did anyway. And my goal once I moved in with my friends was to, you know finish school, get my braces off, get a job, and save up towards a car. And once I got my car, work on getting an apartment and improving my credit and all that to be able to do that. Now, uh, I stayed with two friends at this time, like, and they were like living on their own. They lived with their parents and their parents were very nice. But I moved in with one of my friends and I realized some patterns she had she didn't like to clean she didn't like to do anything um and around the time i left is when she got a job and i really wanted to work somewhere else i didn't want to work as a server and she was deciding to work as a server and there was just so many downfalls to me being a server because i've seen how servers And I know how servers are treated because of my old job and I really didn't want that. So when I spent the night at one of my friend's houses and she was like, why don't you just move in with me? I mean, it'd be way more better. And I jumped up and down and said, yes, because I like living in a clean household when I'm not the only one cleaning. So yeah i took that chance right away and she was really sweet and really nice we supported each other and her parents were very nice too um 
I was very shy whenever they decided they were going to go and buy me something, which they bought me a lot of things and took me to the Myrtle Beach area, which was really nice. And uh, all I could really say is just thank you for them helping me out. And I guess I can't really just ignore the fact that the original friend I planned on staying with came all the way up here to pick me up and take me back so thank you to that too but I guess not for much else um sorry if that came off in a harsh way but reasons why I came back was because well even though I was 18 and it passed my birthday I couldn't sign myself up for school so I couldn't finish high school and I couldn't get my braces taken off so, uh, I really didn't have a choice but to move back with my mom if I wanted to get the necessary things done. And I, I really didn't like the sound of how if I wanted to be on my own at 18, I would have not finished high school and not got my diploma. I would have had my teeth rottening out because I can't get the braces taken off. Um, yeah. It was more of like a necessary thing for me to move back. So my mom came and got me and I'm back staying with my mom. Now, during the period I was living with my friends and I'd say that was like a month or so like a month and a couple weeks. Me and my mom were talking after my 18th birthday and apparently there were rumors at my job and just around her in general talking about how she harmed me somehow and how I was not alive because of her. Clearly I'm alive and clearly she did not do what they were accusing her of doing. And then somehow a rumor of there was some guy with a tattoo of my name on his arm that came and picked me up when it was literally a car full of girls that came to pick me up when I was packing my stuff into their car to move. So I don't know where those rumors came from. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully I don't have to talk about something like this again. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video slash story time.